Hello there, and thank you for clicking in. I appreciate it. You know the song that goes, regrets, I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention? You know that, right? Well, I have more than a few regrets, and they're all worthy of mention. And I'm going to mention one of them right now. I'm going to tell you about one of the regrets I have. It, it stems from a story that happened to me when I was about 19 years old. I was living in Tallahassee, Florida. And I had a job interview that I wish I wish I would have handled differently. I went into this place. It was a restaurant called Jimmy's Hurricane. They had a few of them around the, around the state. They're not around anymore, but they, they had them back then. And I went in there this afternoon, and I was looking for a job as bar back. Right? I just wanted to be a bar back. I was broke. And uh, I'm not knocking the job of bar back, but, you know, you don't really need any qualifications to do this job. You don't need experience you don't need to speak english or be able to speak spanish or any language really if you understand pointing you can do this job i'm not knocking if that's your job i respect anybody that's working or looking for work but i went in i, I just wanted this job and uh i went into this guy the guy that was interviewing me was the day shift manager at this place but he thought he was a big he was kind of a jerk well he wasn't kind of a jerk he was an he was an actual jerk he was exactly a jerk but, he, but he's at, he's a big he thinks he's a big shot and he's just the day shift manager at this joint but he's acting like he's the king of babylon and, and he's acting like he's the the president of general motors trying to hire a new chief executive or something but it's just i'm just a bar back job anyway at the end of the interview Oh, here's what I remember. He's jamming. The whole time he's barking out orders and he's jamming food into his mouth. He's eating barbecued ribs and jamming coleslaw and baked beans and muffins and all that stuff. And it was just, and he's washing it down with a can of Dr. Pepper. It was, it was disgusting. And at the end of the interview... He said, do you have any questions? And I didn't ask a question. I just said no, and I bolted for the exit because I, I didn't want the job anyway. And I didn't get the call for the job, which was fine. But here's my regret. I wish when he said, do you have any questions, I, I wish I would have said, yes, sir, I do. I have a question. Let's say I get the job. I'm lucky enough you give me a job here, and I come in, and I work hard every day. You need me. I'm never late. I'm never any problems. And then after a year or so, I work my way up to bartender, right? I get to be a bartender. And I do well there. All the customers love me. And the I work well with the wait staff and all that. There's never any problems. And I keep taking classes out at the college. And I even take some classes in restaurantology or whatever this stuff is. And then a couple of years from now, the people down at the regional office, the top brass, the big guys down there, they, they decide they want to give me a promotion, right? They want to make me the manager of this place, this location here. So now, now I'm your boss, right? I'm your boss. Yeah. And I, I decide uh, after a while, I, I'm, I'm really not really happy with your job performance. Over so As time goes by, I'm writing you up for things like uh, bad attitude and sloppy dress and all that stuff and you're just you're not making any improvements then i decide i'm gonna have to let you go yeah i'm gonna have to fire you so i i call you into this office here we're back in this office here again this is a couple years from now except now i'm sitting in behind that desk and you're sitting in, in this seat here and i tell you you're fired right i let you you're fired and you're you start like begging for your job back. You're kind of almost like crying, like I need this, I need this job. You know, I need this job. And I go, you know, <laughs> all right, all right. I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna fire. You. I'm gonna give you a job. But here's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, uh, under under these conditions, the following conditions. Number one, I'm gonna start you at bar back. You're gonna have to start at the bottom. Start as a bar back. We'll put you on a 12 month probationary period. If you do well there, then uh, maybe I'll make you a dishwasher, a busboy or something. We'll see how that goes, okay? Number two, I need you to come in this Saturday, early, like 6 a.m., 6 a.m. There's some, a lot of stuff I need done around here. I need you to scrape the chewing gum off the bottom of the, all the tables and all the chairs and from underneath the bar. You know how the chewing gum gets in. We need to get that done. And some other jobs. Include, I need you to get you out in the alley, the, the dumpsters, just to mess the inside of the walls are really stinking to high heaven and it's it's scummy out there i'm going to get you in the dumpster with a uh 
a bucket of sudsy water and a hose and we'll scrape those down. We'll get the dumpster in tip top shape and a, and a number of other jobs. I need you to do this Saturday. And number three, the other thing I need you to do, I need you to shave off that stupid looking mustache you got there with the barbecue sauce in it. Now, do you have any questions?